Whew. Wow. Sudden change of dimensions. The earth goddess. Suddenly, I'm alone in my cave with my inner goddess. Manifest. Uh, well, Earthy's first instinct on Earth is to let's play. Let's explore. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, um, looking around. Oh, my bed platform's still here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's under there? Crawl around under there. Um, or get my arm out under there and uh, feel something. Maybe. Whatever. Uh, get it out, out, out from under there. And it's a kind of a half-decayed book. Uh, what is it? What is that book? Uh, oh! It's my old uh, sex diary from 1968 about my luscious adventures with Cleopatra right here on Rhodos and the Dodecanesis. <laughs> old diary. Uh, well, only the inner part is still intact, I see, because, uh, you know, all that rainwater dripping down through the roof in the winter, the goats, you know, living above on the platform when I'm not there, like, yeah, uh, Hotel de Maurice from Paris for these feral uh, goats, you know. Um, yeah, the beginning part's gone. And that whole trip, like, uh, yeah, Cleopatra and I, from Patmos to Kusadasi, there to Pamukkale Hot Springs, up to Cappadocia, the fairy chimneys of Cappadocia. <laughs> uh, yeah, then link up with the Hashi's Trail over to uh, Herat, Kandahar, and then over to Koeta, Pakistan. <laughs> Anyway, forget about that. You'll never hear that story. It's gone. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, it's so wet. Uh, the goddess said, oh, I have earth fingers too. Yeah, that's what paper mache feels like. My book? Survived 30 years of everything? We better take it outside, huh? We got to dry this thing out. Okay. So, uh, goddess earth and I, Leave the womb chamber of Ganesh. And you know, I gotta skirt sideways to get out. It's such a narrow passageway, three stories high, but narrow. We get on out there, and uh, you know what? Uh, it's not really that gorgeous. Uh, Mid November, Greece, uh, dormant plant life is like. You know, it's like uh, Persephone, you know, shacked up underground with Hades until springtime, you know. Persephone? Oh, the goddess. Oh, she perks up. Persephone. The myth of Persephone involves me. The earth goddess, the Greeks called Demeter. Well, uh, yeah, let me display a little bit of my powers. Now I'm here on Earth. I can go back to anywhere and become one with anything at any time and through the portal of the eternal moment, <laughs> get in there, come back, bring it back. But look, the problem with the problem with you know contemporary storytellers, we're talking 2020 here, it's so dry. It's like academia. Where's the sex? Where's the drugs? Where's to get the millennials to wake up, get out of their video studios? Uh, well, I'm going to tell the story. I'm going to bring it to life. Okay. Yeah. Um, by being Persephone. And telling the story because I am her. Awareness by identity. Our inner lights in harmony. It's a wild story.
probably flip you right out into a new dimension straight away. Are you ready? We're talking to walk on the bizarre side. 